out there on YouTube land. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a movie that is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It kind of steps a little to the side of vampires, but that's okay. This is Warlock, starring Julian Sands. And really, vampires and warlocks and witches all go in the same yeah. day overlap, so. Totally. This is just a fun movie. <laughs> it is. Because Julian Sands makes the most epic, magical badass I think I've ever seen. Honestly, he should have been cast in so much more of these types of roles. Yes! Truly. Because he does such a great job at being deliciously evil. Almost Malfoy evil. Yeah. <laughs> he would have been a very interesting Lucius Malfoy. Yes. By far. Yes. But the cool thing about Julian Sands is that he was... I mean, essentially, Lucius Malfoy in this movie before Lucius Malfoy existed. Yeah, uh, that's exactly it. I swear, I think maybe some inspiration came from it. It might have been, because, you, you know, know, Warlock was right. It was um, released in 1991, direct-to-video, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I saw it, I certainly first saw it on VHS. And it's a very, very unique witch movie. It is. Um... It, I mean, of course, granted, the name is not a positive name in terms of witches, because the warlock is actually a slur. It's a slur, it means a traitor, it's, you know, yeah. various and sundry things in the witch realm. But, so. you know, Jolene Sand's character is all those things. So. He's a lot of a sorcerer, too. Yeah, he, he's, he's your epitome of a dark magician. Yes. I mean, he, he, you know, there's one scene where he uses the fat of an unbaptized child in order to fly, so... Yeah, so, I mean, we're not talking, you know, no double, double toil and trouble. We're talking like, yeah, fat of an un... you know, da-da-da. I mean, honestly, he kind of makes Voldemort look like a, a Sunday morning... <laughs> he does! <laughs> Sunday morning... I mean, the only thing Voldemort really did was Zavada Kedavra, <laughs> Which was lazy. It really in was. Cases. That was lazy. Yeah. Whereas, you know, Julian Sands turns a witch's eyeballs into, like, seer things. All yes. Of stuff. I mean, he does all types of crap in this movie. He does. And it's, <laughs> it's both a little bit of horror, but also a little bit funny. And fantasy. Yeah. There's a ton of fantasy in it. So it's, it's, it's one of those rare films that actually literally embraces the fantasy part. Mm -hmm. Because you have the witch hunter from like the 15th century coming back by way of magic in yeah. order to hunt him down. Which is kind of interesting because you think witch hunter opposed to magic, but yeah. guess what? He's coming back by way of magic. Yeah. And then, you know, of course there's the poor, like, um, new wave girl who's trying to navigate how to survive <laughs> when there's a witch hunting you, and then she ends up teaming up with the witch hunter. <laughs> And then it just goes south from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it is It is truly just, it's a fun movie. And the way the movie resolves at the end is very unique and funny, especially for Americans. So we highly recommend that you watch this movie and just prepare to have fun because it's it doesn't take itself too seriously. Which is good because yeah. a lot of witch movies anymore will take themselves too seriously and then you get lost in it. Yeah. It just kind of bogs you down. This one is creepy, it's fantasy, it's magic. And, and there's a lot of comedy. So there's light. all these things. And, you know, it, it sounds weird saying it's a light film when, you know, you have this witch that's cutting people's eyes out and all this stuff. But it well, is. It, there's, it has a light feeling to it in the scenes without the warlock. Yes. And you have to also remember what light means to us. So yeah, you know. we kind of giggle a little bit yeah. when <laughs> we find it funny and light and entertaining. It's a feel good movie. <laughs> it's one of our feel good movies. <laughs> so And you might want to go around the antique shops and getting some antique iron nails in case yeah. you ever run into a dark sorcerer and you can pound the nail into the footsteps uh, yep. to keep them <laughs> Just as a small note, you know, yeah. not necessarily hurt to know. Yeah. They're not that expensive. <laughs> no, they're not. I have a few. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, at any rate, it, it's just... So many things are brought out by this film that people don't think about in terms of witches. Because mm -hmm. they take information from the Malleus Maleficarum yes. and how witches were hunted and how they were 
you know, tortured in order to get information and so on and so forth. And they make it real to what would be a witch, like the traits mm -hmm. of a witch, so... If you are, like, a fan of witch movies, definitely, if you haven't checked this one out, do so, because, truthfully, I don't think it gets enough respect anymore. I don't think it does either, and I think that is because it is not... Witch movies, like, you're not talking practical magic and the craft, you're talking more, like, Anne Rice and Darker. Yeah. You're talking like the folklore witch versus the pop mod, culture yeah. witch. Because, and granted, the craft does get into some of the darker stuff, but the craft, the magic in the craft is pretty much based solely on Wicca. Which is not, <laughs> that's the no. big thing, that is not what the Hollywood witch was and or is. No. So, you will not find Julian doing any amount of Wicca on here, you will no. find him doing a lot of dark, nasty stuff. Yes, and he does it very well. Yes, which, he does. you know, again, brings into the whole, like, <laughs> he's Lucius Malfoy before Lucius Malfoy yeah. existed. Because he's just so bloody cool. He's really cool with it. He is just into that role, and... Which is why I mentioned before on the channel that he would have made the perfect Lestat. He would have. <sighs> If he could have given the character of Lestat the amount of energy that he gave to the Warlock... Oh my! There would never have been another Lestat. Never. Mm -mm. Ever. <laughs> because Julian Sands just has that ability to pull out his own innate darkness, but add it with flair and a smart-ass attitude. And all those things yeah. together are just fun. Yeah. So. Totally. So, I mean, honestly, I wish he'd be in another witch movie, because I, I like watching yeah. him act. He's a lot of fun. So, let us know what your favorite witch movie is. Maybe we'll review it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Share us with your friends. Cause yes. We have lots of other movie reviews coming up on the channel, and be fun. So, we will see you 